to, Jamie? You, you keeping well? I've just got into town, which is brilliant. First time in Canada. In Canada ever. Is, yeah, ever. Well, so it's been very here. cool. Yeah, I've been uh, celebrating you with the Leafs, you know, winning the old uh, hockey, yeah. which is great. Yeah. So, um, very, very passionate people, the Canadians, with their ice hockey. Um, yeah, just been doing interviews and a bit of TV and sort of, you know, checking out the food situation over here. It's been mm -hmm. good. And how is the food situation very over here? Very good. Then? I've eaten very well. And I've only been here 24 hours, but um, so far, so good. What, is the, what has been your favorite meal then thus far, last night? Uh, well, hours? I've only had dinner and lunch, mm -hmm. so don't get too excited. But I had a really nice oh, well. Thai meal last night. You know, a bit of tuna, mm -hmm. you know, lots of sushi and stuff like that. Very good. And does the lovely Mrs. travel with you? No, or well, I've just had a little baby. Yes, Five weeks ago. Congratulations. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, um, yeah, really good, but probably a bit too young to fly, I think. Right. So she's six weeks old now. Does that mean that the uh, chicken in a bag gets changed to pureed chicken in a yeah, bag? Yeah, absolutely. Or? Well, she's at breast milk at the moment, mate. Right. Um, have you got kids? Not yet. No, I didn't think so. But, um, no, it's all right. That's all right. Uh, not yet. Give me six months. Get off the old breast milk, and then we'll be on a, you know, pureed surprise. You are married. You're a family man. You have a kid. But you know that some of these women here aren't just here for your cooking. They are here to get a glance at, at the handsome Mr. Oliver. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> but I think they know about it. Don't you wish that it was it was all about the cooking? It's gotten so commercial these days. Not Make, really. Yeah, you're right. No, I don't think. I think anything's commercial if people get into it. That's true. And I, I just feel like deeply chuffed that people, young people, are like, like yesterday I did a book signing. There's like a thousand people there, and and they're like young people into cooking. And I, I don't know anyone that could think that's a bad thing. I think no. it's cool. Dead cool. Jamie, normally when you go on TV shows, you're asked to cook. Yeah. We change things around. Mm-hmm. And we got the VJ who doesn't cook. Mm-hmm. Which is who? Me. Yeah. You don't cook at all. <laughs> well, let's just say the last time I made a meal for myself was last summer. Oh, dear. Yeah. So we downloaded <laughs> one of your recipes. Right. From the Food Network's website. This is salad of boiled potatoes, avocado, and cress. My, okay? My and God. And we want you to test this. And let me know how I did. Well, I, I, I don't have to test it to tell you that, my darling. <laughs> hey -o! I mean, like, you know, that means we are. It's not always just about presentation, though, Jamie. Yeah, no, but the potatoes aren't cooked. Uh oh. They aren't. Try that. Is that cooked? It's very edible. What does that mean, very edible? I it, thought it, it tasted it, great. Mmm. It's it's delicious. Mmm, very good, darling. Well done. Um, what do we give out of ten? Uh. Seven. Okay, can I have a drink? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay, do you have any tips for a 26-year-old like me who has 10 reasons why she can't be bothered cooking? Uh, you better come back with me and I'll give you a few lessons, I think. Fantastic. There I'm down can. with that. More to come, anyway. Come on back after break. We're here with Jamie Oliver on demand. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I've done it once for Valentine's Day about six years ago, um, and uh, I wouldn't advise it because I, I, well, I opened the oven and a bit of steam came out and you know steamed me. So it's not good. If you ask me an honest question, I'll give you an honest answer. Okay, okay. But... <laughs> I want to also know who your favourite TV chef is. Um, I don't really watch TV chefs to be honest. Really? <laughs> no. I don't watch TV much. What do you think? I don't get out much, really. <laughs> You're always cooking. Yeah, kind of. Out and about. You're a workaholic, a cookaholic. You do more than just your TV show. You have a lot of stuff on the go. Yeah, I work in a restaurant and, uh, you know, I do quite a lot of writing and stuff. And, and obviously a fair bit of traveling. Mm -hmm. And it's obviously, you know, really inspiring going to different countries, checking out the markets and seeing what, eating nice meals and, you know, drinks and stuff. But it's good. What inspires your recipes? Um seasonality, what's available, what looks good, how I feel, something quick, you know, posh, cheap, everything really. You have a CD here, Jamie Oliver's Cooking, Cookin', Music to Cook By. Yeah, it's wicked. I heard that last night you were DJing at Mod Club at Love Lounge here in Toronto, is that true? Me? Yeah. <laughs> Who no, told you that? I heard. <laughs> I know, it's, it's not the weirdest thing I've ever, no, I wasn't, no. No, you weren't. No, no, I think they were, they were, um, 
they have a mods night and they were playing a few like sort of English rock and roll tunes from the album and stuff. But he did ask me to come down, but we, I had to do some work. You didn't have a chance to. Oh, no. Now, you've cooked for JK of Jamiroquai. Yeah. You're a big music fan. Mm -hmm. What was it like making food for him? Uh, cool. Cool guy. Pretty talented. Went down to his gaff. Pretty for... talented, yeah, I'd yeah, agree. Yeah, he, uh, went down to his house for about four days and uh, they were rehearsing for the new album and the new, all the gigs and stuff. And uh, being a drummer myself, it was pretty... Pretty emotional, you know, just watching the band do their stuff. But, um, no, it's fantastic. Cooked them up a nice dinner. And, uh, yeah, it's brilliant. Do you still have time to jam with your band? Uh, not really, no. I mean, it's a massive hobby of mine. But uh, don't get the time, I'm yeah. afraid. Okay, well, it's time for a video request. Pick by you. Uh, yeah, it's, I'm going to choose Jamiroquai, Virtue Insanity, because it's a great tune and a wicked video. Here you go, right now, on M.O.D.